Okay, guys. Just here's. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of video today on the progress that I'm. I, I am making here in the van. Now, right there is. I haven't built the cabinet up yet, but here will be a seat cushion sofa. Like I will be sitting this way again to be on my computer over here. Over here will be three of those containers. Three of these containers, a cabinet built, a platform. Those containers will install, will install about that high. Three of them in, in, a, in, a, in a framed container, a framed uh, cabinet situation. And uh, that'll be my water supply. These are seven gallon containers of water. I'll have plenty of water. But here, I haven't started my cabinet. My, my cabinet will start up against here. It'll go up. It'll have doors and lots of storage. I'll be able to keep pots and pans and clothes and all that. And such as in here. That This storage unit under the bed is 30 inches wide. So it's, it's plenty of room. Now, this board for getting into my storage right here. This this will be designed. I like I say I'm in the I'm in the, the midst of, of 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 it's been designed, it's been drawn up on Google, but I haven't put it into action yet. There would be another subboard here to hold because this is this petition will move away. Will be movable. It'll be split in half. This petition will be split in half and you'll have little swing hinges that when I want to take the board away, I'll just I'll just pull it away, lift up, and the board will come away, and I can get in under the bed for anything I want. You'll be able to do the whole length of the bed. It'll be split in two right at this right at this leg, and like I said, it'll be a support beam under here to hold the bottom. And then when you shove it up against there, there'll be a little swivel latches to hold that board in place. Okay. Now, I told you guys about the porta potty that had good ratings. This is the one. Here's the one that I, I was talking about. Now, a lot of people uh, use that one. I'm, on, I'm decided to get the Dometic refrigerator, and it'll fit conveniently right next to the porta potty. As you'll see, now being 30 inches wide, I'm going to come out about 20, 25 inches from the side over there. I already got. An electric uh, uh, plug-in uh, that's already there for my refrigerator, and I'm gonna get the Dometic uh, 45, I think, Dometic 45 refrigerator. And so, guys, I just wanted to—I had to pull what little floor up I had because I want to get everything anchored in before before I finish the floor out. Everything is petitioned. You can pull the bed out with that one clip. See that one clip right there? You could pull that clip away in the whole damn darn bed. It'll come out this whole section six feet. Now, let me show you what I did with the petition as you can slide the mattress back when it's time to get into the bathtub. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I'll have uh, stops on the... I'm going to build a nice border stop on my bed. Nice border stop. And um, all, all the whole area of this interior will be paneled in vinyl this thick vinyl white paneling and you buy it at Home Depot the whole area will be paneled in that everything will be all the cabinets here's my sink design now guys I'm going to use the sink the same drain that's for the bathtub the same bathtub drain I'm going to use that for the sink drain. Everything will go out in one place. Look, and here's my sink design. Now, there will be another a platform. This is just the frame structure for the sink. There will be a platform with a sink hole cut in it. And that'll, that'll screw to the frame of, of this. And then it will be covered in this nice thick vinyl. It'll be beautiful. And here's the sink drain. This will screw on to the bottom of the sink. This will screw on to the bottom of the sink. And uh, the drain will drain out in the same hole as, as the bathtub system. 
it'll I'll, I'll have an L. I'll have an L bracket hooked onto that and now when I get ready to use the sink I'll just shove it in I'll pull this this drain stop out and shove it into the sink into the same hole and use the sink right there now to store my sink I'll build a holster underneath the bed and you'll just pull the sink out and it'll be a nice little holster set up there and you'll just slide it onto the holster and it'll be some little metal clips to hold it down everything will be be secure and locked down okay just want to give you guys a progress report on that. I am making progress. Okay, that's to get into the bathtub. Now this board slides away. This slides away. See there, it's not. It slides over. It'll slide over to get into the bathtub. This board right here. It's about. It goes to this. It goes right here to the end of the tub. And this board will pull out, pull out, or you can slide, pull it out, set it on the bed. Use it as a, as, a, as, a, as a seat, and I'm going to figure out a way to put legs on it. Use it as a computer desk. Um, or just slide, move it away, set it on the bed, get into the bathtub. This whole area right here. See that? That comes up. See that? See that whole area comes up. Now, you pull this, pull the mattress back. When you get through taking a bath, when you get through taking a bath, then you put your cushions. This will have a chair cushion, too. This area, it's going to be like a little recliner. When I'm not using the sink, it'll be stored under the bed. And uh, let's let's walk around because I've I've changed some things in my in my earlier drawings on Google, and I've done some things differently. Some ideas that I was going to use, I changed them. Here's my little inverter I use. It's a it's 1100 watt. You just you just clamp it onto your battery, and you you can use small electric appliances up to 1100 watts, right? I, right. I use my jigsaw. I use my jigsaw with that with that inverter, electric jigsaw. But guys, um, I think you've seen many. Uh, I think I showed it in my last video, my setup, my uh, video for tools and stuff like that. Now this back will be also vinylized. The back have white vinyl. Uh, the the chute here now my jack is in this panel. You still be able to get to it. It'll have a door panel here. Nothing will be blocking. I can still be able to get to my jack for my for my van. Put it in, but I'm gonna get a, a, a one ton jack, two ton jack. For my uh, van, anyway, I won't be using that much. Back, back. What I said about this, this panel, it'll be split in two, uh, from the side, and I'll have a support beam that'll go all the way across through. That's why I built it this way. I wanted these legs nice and strong. That's two by three, so I could put when I just rest those boards right down on that beam, and then I have two swivel locks to hold that panel in. You can get in. Get in the hole underneath the bed at any time. It's 30 inches. Lots of storage there. On this side, I'll have a platform that'll be wide enough to fit three seven-gallon water containers. Okay, I'm gonna use an oak desk top. Uh, top. It'll go. It'll be about 12 inches wide. An oak top, and that'll be that'll be my countertop for doing things, for cooking, doing all sorts of things. There's my sink used in the same drain as the bathtub. So it's all coming together. You get up in here and you sit down. I'm going to have cushion. I'm going to have cushion. I'm sitting down now. And this is a, oh yeah, guys, let me talk about this. this. This was a full twin size mattress. I had to cut it. Let me show you. I think you can see. I'm going to show you. I had to cut it. I had to cut it with a butcher knife <laughs> to get by 30 inch wide. Okay, uh, it, 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 that's a great mattress. It feels real good. I'm gonna go out here and show you the other half of it I cut off. Uh, yeah, cut it with a with a butcher knife, and there it is. The other half. That's ten inches of it. I had to cut off, and then I then I took the same covering that they had. They came with the mattress. All I did was fold it back, got out my staple gun, and stapled it. See, I just stapled it on one side. 
It that that mattress is ten inches wide, ten inches thick. It's a ten inch thick mattress. Look at that. Look. Woo! That's comfortable. Oh, I'm gonna be comfortable. Then I'm gonna get me a wedge pillow. Uh, I'm gonna get me a wedge, a wedge uh, memory foam pillow. Oh, yes. Riding in comfort. Everything is being thought out. Everything is being done. This backboard will be covered in the same white vinyl as you see the covering on the surface there. All right. Also here will be stuckled, glued, and everything will be, a door will be made just for this area. Still be able to get to your twos for jacks and all that kind of stuff underneath. There is still your plumbing. There is your plumbing right there. Okay, go, it'll go straight through the floor. Now, I haven't drilled the hole for the floor, but I do have the, uh, the adapter to do that. Let me see, I got it in here somewhere. Let me see, here's my hole. Here's, here's for my bathtub hole. It's a metal saw, hole saw. And you'll just hook it onto your, um, I didn't need that poor power drill. I, my, my drill was enough power to drill every hole that I want. And construction screws and for my planks and my bores, this drill is enough. The 18 bolt, this saw, this hole saw will drill the hole for my drain, bathtub and sink drain. Yep, it's two inches. It'll drill this hole right here. Right there. Now I looked down underneath and measured everything out. Made sure it was, it was an area away from screws, joints, nuts, bolts, cords. So it's a nice flat area of, of the of the bed that the hole is going to drill. Is going to drill real easy, <clears throat> and it's a thin area. So when I do drill it, it'll, it shouldn't take but about five minutes. Oh, uh, all I have to do is take my back panel off. I can pull the sink out at any time on this side. Everything's removable in this van. I can move it down to the carpet in about 30 minutes. That's the way I designed it. That's the way it's going to work. Okay. I used uh, full construction screws and I anchored those to, to the, 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 the railing, not, not the floor, the actual ribs in the floor. But these panels are down. They are not going anywhere. They are they are not coming up. Okay, like I said here, I saw some I got some nice cushions. Uh saw some nice cushions at uh, Home Depot. Really nice uh cushions. They're about they're about uh five inches thick. They got a back on them, and I'm gonna use one here. They're, they're the same length here for uh uh, sitting down. Okay, when I build my cabinet right there, and I'm, that's what I'm going to do my next video to show you the cabinet progress. That's going to that's going to hold up my refrigerator and toilet and all that kind of stuff. It's going to hold a lot of a uh, lot of merchandise. The cabinet will have drawers. It'll have doors. I ordered some special doors on Amazon. It'll have doors and everything, and it'll be covered in vinyl, white vinyl. It'll be beautiful. It, it, uh, it'll go the length from here to the back seat. Now, off the back seat, I'll do my uh, stainless steel rod all the way across, and then I'll come down this way with a with a strong two by three on the right side of the van. That way, I can uh, drill a hole for my stainless steel curtain rod to my cabinet. See, everything is anchored to the floor, and from the floor, I can work all my everything. You have to have your floor anchored really good. This floor is anchored. It's construction screws and all kinds. It is just, it's, it's down. It ain't going nowhere. So, guys, see that one little, I think I pointed that out. See that one little clip? That holds it in. That, that, the bed frame is socked right in the corner. And this area right here, okay. Now, this, this is the, uh, part that comes off so you want to be able to get in the tub you know you want to pull that I'll set it on the bed this whole section over the tub it, it slips away right here you know that's not to the bed that's there here's the cabinet from from here at six feet okay your sink sink frame going to have a sink top drilled with a sink hole all right it's going to be uh, it's going to have same white covering 
and keep the water out away from the wood. Okay, and then the bumper, I'm gonna start doing my bumper trim. It'll also have the, uh, the white framing. I'm gonna use the, uh, the thin uh, plywood and to frame it out, bumper it out, and then put the, uh, then use the, uh, use this stuff to cover it. This same uh, stuff right here, I like it. Uh, my, my, uh, it'll be completely, completely clean looking on the inside with the white uh, vinyl. Nice thickness and it really takes, it cuts good too. Okay. Okay guys, I just want to give you guys a progress report. And looks like things are going a-okay. On target, you know this is my retirement vehicle. Um, now when I... Probably in about two more weeks, I'll make another video and I'll have the cabinet build dresser, drawers, and clothes hanger inside the cabinet. And I want to build a cabinet to fit the roof. Okay, now I'm, I know I haven't taken the seat belts out. I'm gonna get a, a friend of mine, he said he'll take them out whenever I get ready. So I ain't really in big hairy for that right now. So, um uh, Probably to put my, I'm gonna use hardwood oak at Home Depot for my for my countertop on this side. It's gonna cover those three gallon, seven gallon water tanks, and uh, it's gonna go all the way from the tub, all the way from the tub to the first end of the first door, to this door right here, to the end of the first door. That's gonna be a really long space. Gonna have lots of nice storage in there, and it's gonna have three seven gallon water tanks. That's uh, 21 gallons of water I can I'll be able to to to, to, uh, to travel with at any at any time and uh, my hot water sits on demand system will be will be attached in, inside on the on into the counter okay guys I'm gonna just want to give you guys some progress report here okay I'm gonna get get going and and uh, see you later. Here's go. Bye now.